We're now going to start Unit 2. So it's time to immerse yourself in the murky world of organic chemistry. And in this first lecture, what we're going to do is an exercise to remind you how to recognise and name all the different types of organic molecules that we've come across. So alkanes, alkenes, cycloalkanes, alcohols, aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids, esters. Okay, so we're hoping that you'll be able to recognise and be able to name a variety of those compounds before we go any further. So enjoy. Let's start by looking at a nice simple alkane, in this case butane. So it's got a molecular formula of C4H10, but that's not particularly useful as you can draw so many different isomers with the formula C4H10. So we tend to work on shortened or full structural formula. So shortened structural formula for butane is CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. And you should be able to convert the shortened structural formula into a full structural formula. So the full structural formula for butane is this. So what we're going to do in the next few slides is I'll give you the shortened structural formula for an organic compound and then you have to draw the full structural formula and name it. So for example, draw the full structural formula and name the following compound. So I suggest you pause the tape, try it yourself then restart it and I'll go over the answer. Okay, so the full structural formula is this, which will be propan one o. Okay. Okay, so draw the full structural formula and name this compound. Again, pause the tape, do it yourself, then start the tape again. So it's 2-methyl propan one all and when you've done the full structural formula you should remember it doesn't matter if you have the CH3 going down the way or up the way. Similarly, it doesn't matter if the OH group is sticking up the way, out the side or down the way. Also, even though it's supposed to be a full structural formula, it's generally allowed to use kind of this shortened formula for the methyl group as when it's a side chain. Okay, here's the third one for you. So that is pentuene. Here's the fourth one for you.
So this was a ketone, the C double bond O group. It was in the third position, so it was pentan 3 on. So this is an ester, uh, this is the way I think it in my head when I'm trying to name the ester. So that's the acid, that was the alcohol, not that it matters in this case, it's, it turns out to be ethyl ethanoate. Okay, sixth one. It's important that you have the bond go from the carbon to the oxygen of the hydroxyl group. So this is an alcohol, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's butan 2 all and it's got a methyl group on the first, second, third. So it's 3-methyl butan 2 all Okay, seventh one. Okay, so we've got another ester here. There's the, uh, the acid group. This was the alcohol. One, two, three, four. So that's uh, butyl ethanoate. Eighth one. So it's a carboxylic acid, three carbons, so it's propanoic acid. Okay, second last one. So, the main chain in this case is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's a hexane and it's got a methyl group on the third carbon. So it's 3 methyl hexane. And finally, So we've got an aldehyde here, three carbons, so we've got propanol. You don't need to say where the carbonyl group is because being an aldehyde, 
you're always going to see double bond O on the first carbon. Okay, so all that is just revision, reminding you about recognising, uh, drawing full structural formula and naming uh, all the various organic compounds you came across in the higher. And so you should now be in a good position to move on to the next lecture, which you'll be introduced to a new type of formula.